at 6, a local Air Force veteran was a part of the atomic bomb testing, collecting samples for the scientists to review. Jason Maxwell has today's Through the Lens. Spent a couple of years at LSU and then I got an appointment to West Point. And so I entered the class in 1951 and I graduated with that class in 1951 and was commissioned directly into the Air Force because the brand new Air Force needed uh, needed uh, pilots and so if you were going to flying school you were allowed to go directly into the Air Force out of West Point instead of into the Army. Completion of my first six months in flying school I had met a, a nice young lady and I got married and so I took her out to Lubbock, Texas to advance flying school at uh, Reese Air Force Base in Lubbock, Texas and I got my wings out there in August of 1952. I was deployed to the Marshall Islands in the South Pacific for a test series called Operation Red Wing. These are the airplanes we used to sample the clouds. These they tried and didn't work very well, so we ended up with the F-84, which is that airplane right there. The job over there was then to uh, fly into the atomic bomb clouds after the explosion and collect the radioactive material so that the scientists could decide how efficient the bombs had been. And we would bring that material back and it would be removed from the airplane and put in a lead box and shipped back to the United States for analysis. And I would think it would be a very dangerous mission. I wouldn't want to do it. But we were doing everything we knew how not to get any excessive exposure. We didn't have to breathe any of it because we were breathing bottled air the whole time clean air, so we didn't get any of it inside of it. We got it up underneath our helmet and everything. We had to wash that out from the shower after, after we got home. And when we got back, they would go to in the decontamination shack and we'd shower until the Geiger counter didn't tick anymore when it brought it up to us. And so all of this testing and all of this stuff that I was involved in was for the purpose of making atomic weapons not only bigger but cleaner because if you can hold the explosion together long enough, what's left is not radioactive anymore. But these went off too soon, and so they scattered unreacted raw material all over the place, and that's what we would collect and bring home so they could tell how much of it actually exploded. And that was Jason Maxwell with that story.